lot is getting sold today and the replacements that are gonna refill this pen are on the way. Go on. There's two things they don't like walking into. Bright sun and wind. We got bright sun today. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He just likes to stay at Sunny Farm so much, you don't wanna leave. yesterday and he came in and he says we're trying a new technique he says I got a wooden ball for you to put in your mouth serious true story -uh. a serious true story I says oh I guess you watch the videos <laughs> and then when I got up to leave I said I'll bring the ball back in a couple days it'll take two semi loads to haul these out so we're gonna split them in half get ready for for two semi loads pretty simple So right now there's a truck getting loaded up with new heifers that are coming here. But there's also an empty truck headed this way to load up the first half of these heifers we just got up. And with all that going on, we got a calf in the heater. It was born in the barn, but it's just, you know, it was born last night and it's just not lively and it seems a little chilled despite being out of the wind and it's not that cold. But we're gonna try giving it a little bit of drag. If you heat your nipple, it goes on the bottle a little bit. We got that first truck loaded and that calf didn't have really much of a suckle reflex. He wasn't trying to drink it down. So we go to plan B, which is tube it. Put it right in the stomach. The most miraculous I ever saw in here is I put one in here flat out. He came back after chores and he was standing up banging around and said, I was like, oh, didn't see that coming. Next semi full of calves is here. We're going to unload it, get those calves in the feed lot, and then load it back up. Hey, 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 hey. A lot of beef. Come on. Come on. Yep. I don't have a slappy. I got this though. Oh, that ain't gonna help me here. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 hey. What are we at? No. 
はい、はいはいはいはいはいはいSoon, Dad's gonna take off, watch his calves sell. But before that, we got one more job. We're gonna get five more pairs, the last five pairs that'll fill Kenny's. So we're gonna get them up, yep. haul them out. Get them up, haul them out, rawhide. Rawhide. these out so they can get more room. They've been pooping these pens up pretty good. Come on, pal. Uh -oh. We're gonna have to take the long way around because there's big snow drifts over there. There's a cattle in the seal barn. So cold, why are you out of breath? Well, one calf decided that he's gonna make a fool out of us because we got a broken wire here. And he went that way. Oh, you should have seen me, I was lighting fast. So with those last five pair that we brought out to Kenny's this morning, that pasture is filled. And the next pasture that we're gonna fill, we're gonna wait. It's a it's one of our smaller pastures, and every year for the past probably five, six years, we brought pears out into the building site, the smaller area. We bring those pears out there because there's more space and it's healthy for the calves, and so we get healthy calves that way. Um, but then they eat that grass and it can never really recover in that smaller area. It's about 10 acres worth. And when that grass is pushed back, it gives the weeds an amazing opportunity. They're not being shaded. And so the buffalo burr specifically uh, has really been flourishing over there. And so we got this beautiful rye growing. And so we're just going to hold these pears here. They got 17 acres here. You know, there shouldn't be much dust, nice and green. Um, we're gonna keep those pears here longer and actually let that pasture area grow up 
and hopefully that pasture will sustain those 18 pairs a little bit better. doing pal he's kind of sitting up you know I've seen calves worse and frankly I don't really get it because it wasn't cold last night you know more than what we experienced and it was born in the building and so so far we've put him in the heater to warm him up we tubed him because he wasn't suckling and I also gave him a shot of dexamethasone it's a steroid it's supposed to kind of open the airways get him breathing a lot of people say they give a sh calf a shot and it just it just wakes them right up, bounces them up, and so I did put them out here with mom, hoping she'd lick them off a little bit, get them moving. But you know he acts like he's shivering, but he's not cold to the touch. You know, and you put your finger in his mouth, and it's not cold in there. But he does have a suckle effect now. So I think I'm going to mix up the other half of that bottle. We only gave him a half rate this morning. I think I'll mix him up another half of a bottle and see if we can get some more food in him. Golly. I mean, you, you could be warmer, but you don't want to keep them in these heaters too long because that can kind of dry them out, you know? It's like, a, you know, it's like an oven, so you got to keep the liquids to them. I think I'll mix up a bottle. He sucked the finger, so he's going to, he's ready to... Do some drinking, I think. We had some progress. He only drank about a tenth of what I made for him. I ended up tubing the rest of them in him, but you know, he was trying, unlike this morning. So we do have a little progress. We'll keep him heating up just to make sure that he's good and warm. Mom is waiting here patiently for her calf. at this for a while he's he's getting okay at the standing part he just gotta take that step I think he, he's thinking about it he actually did oh 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 look at that oh I got you oh my gosh look at him go you are trucking he says put me back in that heater that was nice Dick Nabbit look at you pal got everything kicked out of the barn. Dad actually got an appointment for this calf at the vet. Uh, see if they can do a little better than us. Dad's calves sold great. He's very happy. 
um, we'll be able to farm another year. <laughs> the song of the day is by Fuel, and it's called Hemorrhage, but it's better known as In My Hand. Song of the day. Tackling Thief. What? Tackling Thief. You ever seen uh, <laughs> a water boy? Yep. Tackling. Tackling Thief. Oh. He's saying tackling fuel. Why is he tackling fuel? He needs tackling fuel. Oh, gotcha. The water is the tackling fuel. Can you do an imitation of that one assistant coach, though? Remember that one time? That's pretty good. Just listening to the radio in there, and they're talking about the start of track season. You know, basketball's just getting over. Got me thinking about my career in track. And the one time I got first place in the 100-meter hurdles. It was in Westington Springs, a town about 30 miles north of here. I was pretty proud of my time that day, but, but I feel like I'm lying to you if I didn't tell you that I was the only person that ran the 100-meter hurdles that day. Maybe nine lanes, just me grandstand full of people just watching me run against myself but in the end I got first and you can't take that away from me Headed into the weekend with a clean barn. And you know, being this time of the year, weather should be straightening out. That could have been the last time we cleaned the barn, but we'll have to see, time will tell. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. Oh, gotcha, the water is the tackling fuel. I don't know.